First, check voltage gear. Please adjust according to your voltage standard. Default value is 220 voltage. Second, choose position and then choose auto home. Third, Press reset key slightly or choose control and then choose disable stepper to turn off all stepper motors. Fourth, measure distance between nozzle and hotbed, assuming value H. Lower the limit switch by H minus 1 mm, as the video shows. For example, if H is 20 mm, lower the limit switch of Z axis by 19 mm. Choose position and choose Alt Home again and turn off step motor. Move nozzle to the center of hotbed. At this time, the distance between nozzle and hotbed is about 1 mm. Fifth, let the nozzle stay at the original point. Use an A4 paper to check if the gap between nozzle and hotbed is about 0.2 mm. Loose butterfly nut and use the compression of spring to fill the gap. After several adjustments, the gap should be around 0.2 mm. You can feel a slight frictional resistance when jacking A4 paper through the gap. Then adjust the other three corners in turn to get same results. Six. If the gap between nozzle and hotbed is not about 0.2 mm, make fine adjustments. Please repeat the above step to tighten or loose the screws of the four corners. Seventh, preheat the device with option prepare preheat PLA. We use PLA as an example in the video. Ace, 
Install filament. When temperature reaches 200 degrees centigrade, put filament into the printer. First, stroke the filament straight. Then press bracketing. Align filament input. Put filament inside until the nozzle spin, indicating installing the filament successfully. Nice. Prepare first printing. Put the SD card into the device and press reset key. Tense. Before printing, choose the option Prepare. Preheat POA again. When temperature reaches 200 degrees centigrade, Choose the option Print from SD and choose G code. The test file is in the SD card. Wait a few minutes, the device will start printing automatically.